Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another What I Eat in a Week. Having 100 videos of these out in the universe is kind of wild. I honestly don't know how we got here. I felt a little pressure to make the 100th video like super extravagant, so I held it off for a while, but I just went ahead and had a really good time with my week. I think it's a pretty good video, so I hope you enjoy. My usual disclaimers, I'm not a dietitian or a nutritionist, I'm just a random foodie girl who lives in New York City and loves to take you along on my full week of eating. Every morning I drink a coffee and I take a B12, I don't usually show that because I don't like to be on camera first thing in the morning, but I think those are all my disclaimers, let's hop straight into the video. Good morning, so I'm heading out to shoot some videos today. I wanna to be able to shoot like two reels, um, but I didn't wanna do so on an, empty, on an empty stomach. So I had like a little egg bite before shooting this little clip. Um, I have a couple more in the fridge, so I'll show you them later. But if you've watched any of my eating videos, you know that I've eaten these consistently for the past few months. Um, the recipe is actually on my Instagram. If I remember, I'll try to remember, I'll link it down below. But it's like a chickpea, tofu, veggie, cheesy egg bite, and it's just like great for meal prep. I literally made 24 of them last week, and I'm just finishing my first dozen, and I took the second dozen out of the freezer. It's just, ugh, it's just too convenient as a meal prep. And it's healthy, like what more could you want? I'm getting a few more things wrapped up before I head out, and I'm just popping into the city to shoot a couple videos. I'll take you along with me. Look at these beautiful knishes I got. One is sweet potato, the other one is spinach, and I'll show you exactly where I got them too. This bakery's been around for over 100 years on the Lower East Side, and they serve a lot of different knishes. Many of them are vegan. You just have to ask. Oops, sorry, sir. You just have to ask. Um, each one is $5.50. I think when I used to go a couple years ago, it was a little cheaper, but again, everything's gotten more expensive recently. I think it's still fairly affordable for what you get. They're really filling, and the spinach one, I think might be my favorite, but the mushroom one is also really good. So for breakfast, I'm probably gonna eat the spinach one, or at least part of it, and then I'm off to shoot my second video. So I'm actually, I'm gonna eat part of the potato knish, but afterwards, there's like a Whole Foods across the street, what I'm gonna try to do is I'm gonna try to go to their hot bar and then find a little container I can put these in because if I put these directly into my backpack, I know that they're going to get all squished and then I can't eat them later. Mmm! It's like eating mashed potatoes and like spinach and onion in like a paper thin doughy casing. This shit is so good. Are you ready to see little meal number two? I went to Buda Bodai in Chinatown and I got their lunch special, which is $9.50. It came with a spring roll that I already ate, but I can show you the rest. We have some seitan lamb, along with a bunch of vegetables, mushrooms, carrots, broccoli, bok choy, cabbage, beans, and a side of white rice. And I'm not gonna eat all of this. I'm gonna eat some of it and then bring it home for later. When I got back home, I had two more little egg bites with veggies and cheese. And then I had a Greek yogurt with some fresh blueberries and maple syrup. This is my favorite Greek yogurt right now. It's the Kite Hill one. Guys, I have a pre-workout. It's a fantastic pre-workout. It is cereal, not just any cereal, but my favorite brand, which is Three Wishes. This is not my favorite flavor, however. This one is the plain frosted because that's all they had when I went to go buy some. My favorite is the honey one or the chocolate one. But honestly, like, the strawberry one is kind of good too. But those are my two favorite. This one, it passes. It's fine. I just wanted some yummy, yummy little carbs to get me through my leg workout. For dinner, I had this like mac and cheese sun-dried tomato soup type thing and then a spoonful of Dandy's marshmallow cream for dessert. I put some little cheesy egg bites in a little baggie and brought it to work today. So now I have to find a little plate, microwave that shit, find some ketchup, maybe find some communal pickles, and make ourselves a little breakfast. I am a pickle girl. Couldn't find a plate, so I used a napkin. And yeah, that probably is a little too much ketchup, but I do not care. Mm. 
delightful. Here is my lunch. We have carrots and Thousand Island dressing, and then three little tofu tacos with um, some ketchup, like tofu scramble tacos. They're looking a little pale because I didn't have turmeric when I made them, so just ignore that. So I'm gonna be eating this, and then I'm gonna go out and shoot a video. Actually, I think I've decided I'm shooting here. Um, I'll tell you what I'm shooting, too. There's a company that's out here stealing my likeness, and when I asked them not to, they just ignored me. And it's a really big company too. So I'm about to like post a little rant about that on my Patreon. So if you want to watch it, go subscribe there. But I'm gonna do that. I'm also gonna clean. I like went through some clothes, so I have to like organize my room and stuff. Um, and then after that, I'll show you what I'm eating for pre-workout. Hello, I'm very excited to go hit chest in a little bit, but let me show you what I'm eating beforehand. We're starting off strong with half of a knish from yesterday. Mm-hmm, and I heated it up in the microwave for a little bit. And then we have a Kite Hill Greek yogurt, and I mixed in a little bit of maple syrup because it's very tart, and I added a big old handful of blueberries. So I'm be eating this, and then we're gonna go work out in a little bit. I'm about to leave, but I'm craving a bit of chocolate, so I got, why can't you see it? I got a vegan Reese's peanut butter cup. And so I'm eating this, and then I'm heading to the gym. Actually, I'm gonna eat the second one too, because I don't know what's wrong with me, but I cannot eat just one of these. I've tried a few times, that each time I'm like, eh, I'll just have both of them. <laughs> Dinner was some Chinese food leftovers. It was that like vegan lamb and vegetables with rice, but I added some kimchi. I don't like this brand of kimchi. I tried the Cleveland Kraut kimchi for the first time and I'm not a fan, but I'm finishing the bag. I just reviewed this vegan salami from Green Wolf. I reviewed the spinach tomato, no, the basil, tomato basil flavor. Um, and here's the aftermath, because I put it in a baggie. Uh, it's pretty good, but that was my breakfast I get I guess, like I had a quarter of a hunk of salami for breakfast. Delicious. Good morning. Do I look like I'm about to go shoot an ad for some colorful cupcakes? Well, I am. Sorry for the phone, audio, video quality, but I was so hungry, I almost forgot to record all together. I grabbed a tofu skin bao bun from Spring Cafe, cause I'm hopping to Meiwa to grab something for an ad. I just grabbed something else for an ad. It's just been a really busy day. These used to be like two for five dollars, which is insane, but they're still like one for five something and they're really big. My favorite is the tofu skin one without the sugary peanuts. So it's like pickled veggies and tofu skin and stuff. And it's really good and I'm eating it. I'm back at my parents and I just want to eat something quick. So I'm grabbing a protein bar. This one is my favorite. It's the hazelnut bear bells one. And after I finish some work, I'll have a real meal, I promise. I think I'm gonna make some tacos with the Trader Joe's ground. Or maybe, maybe little mini quesadillas. Yeah, that sounds good. So that's precisely what I did. Um, well, not really quesadilla. I guess I made cheesy toasted tacos. I made three of them, one, two, three. And then we have a side of carrots and Thousand Island dressing. I didn't try this yet. But what I did was I took the Trader Joe's like crumbles that you have to rehydrate. I don't know if you see them right there. And I rehydrated them. And then I cooked them with like a bunch of spices and taco seasoning and stuff. And then I put it in a tortilla with cheese. And then I toasted it on both sides. So let's try it together. Mmm. I will be making that again. Oh yeah, yeah, it was good. We are doing cheesy egg bites for dinner. You know the drill, you know what these are, you know what's in them, you know I put a little too much ketchup on them. This is what I'm eating tonight. Don't mind my floor, I don't I don't feel like moving my camera. <laughs> but I'm having this, this wee bit of chocolate, magic chocolate from Dr. Bronner's, the roasted whole hazelnut one. If you don't like very dark chocolate, you will not like this. I like dark chocolate, and I almost don't like this because it's so dark, but it's nice, you know, having a little piece sometimes. Good morning. Wow, why does my face look like that? Anyway, those little taco things were so good yesterday that we are indeed doing them again. Look at that cheese. Oh, anyway, so we have three little uh, Trader Joe's 
meatless ground up stuff with cheese in a little taco shell and then I put some oil in a pan, toast it on both sides so it's gonna be crispy but it's hot so I'm not gonna bite into it right now, I'm waiting for it to cool down a little bit. And on the side we have carrots and Thousand Island dressing. So I just ate four mini cupcakes from Baked by Melissa because I was shooting a video for them um, and I already put them back downstairs in the fridge so I'll just show you on the card which ones I ate. I tried the strawberry one, the triple chocolate chip, the maple cinnamon, and the dark chocolate coconut. All of them were really good actually. I really like them. They're like sweet little tiny bite treats. Look at this little snack plate I made. Okay, so you have some vegan salami. This is a tomato pesto flavor. We have some blackberries. I have these little puffy chip things and I'm gonna dip them into this Greek yogurt that I seasoned up with like garlic powder and paprika and stuff like that. And I'm gonna eat this as a little snacky snack. Guys, I feel like I'm in a mood. I feel like all I do is work. Like today is Sunday. It's the weekend and other than walk to the grocery store, which is an errand, um, I was in my room working the whole day and now I'm having pre-workout and I'm gonna eat this cereal. This is from Three Wishes. It's their like honey flavor. It's not real honey. It's just honey flavored. It's a good pre-workout. I like it a lot. It's my favorite cereal. But I feel like all I do is work and sometimes I'm into it. Like I like working but sometimes I'm like what do I do for fun? I'll, I'll talk to my therapist about that. One of these is not like the other. That's because Y'all know what these are. These are the usual. But this, this is a little red bean bun that I picked up from Lily's Vegan Pantry. It's just a little steamed bun with sweet red beans and I'm having it for dessert. And that is a hair tie. Just pretend you didn't see that. Good night. Good morning. It's been a really busy day at work, but I just want to squeeze in some breakfast because I have an hour meeting in like 10 minutes and then I have another hour meeting right after that. So if I don't eat now, I'm not eating. And I ran out of like cheesy egg bites. So yesterday I made myself chocolate protein overnight oats. It just has like chocolate protein, chia seeds, oatmeal, almond milk, oh, and cocoa powder. And that's what I'm having for breakfast. Okay, so it's lunchtime, and I'm having four of those mini tacos with the Trader Joe's ground beef and some cheese toasted on both sides, my latest little obsession. And then we have broccoli and some dressing to dip it in. And boom, I'm gonna eat this and I'm gonna get to editing. I'm craving chocolate, so I will be eating one of these Reese's uh, plant-based peanut butter cups. Actually, this is my second to last one, so I've been rationing them out. They're becoming more widely available now. I think they've been found in Kroger's, but there isn't a Kroger in New York, so uh, we can only get them at Hershey's World in Times Square. And you know how often I go to Times Square? Basically never. So just rationing out my last two <laughs> peanut butter cups. So I'm having this one. And then I have three videos to edit. So chocolate and work time. I'm heading to the gym in like an hour or something. Wow, this feels really close to my face. I'm heading to the gym in like an hour or something. So let me show you the pre-workout situation. First, we have a hunk of salami. Yep. And then we have a bowl of cereal. And then lastly, I was at the grocery store and I saw this body armor. And I don't drink like sports drinks very often, but it just sounded good. So I got it. I'm gonna eat all this up. Do some more editing. Surprise, surprise, what is my life? And then head to the gym. So initially, I was gonna have soup for my post-workout. Let me show you. I made this soup a few weeks ago. It's a spin off of my sausage soup that I used to make all the time. Um, it's like peas and carrots and pasta and potato and usually sausage and mushrooms. And it's like really savory. Um, as I said, I made it a few weeks ago and then I ended up not eating it. So I put it in the freezer um, so I can have it later But oh Oh, yeah, and this one doesn't use sausage this one uses beyond meat anyway So I was gonna eat it, but then I went to go eat it And I just don't feel like having something this hearty. So instead I'm having a burger which sounds just as hearty But in my head, it's not so I'm making a burger for dinner The Burger is here. Um, it's a new burger from a brand called motif foods. It's pretty good. It tastes Similar to Impossible or something, I really like it. 
and it's a whole wheat bun with ketchup, lettuce, and pickles. Let's see if I could take a big bite. Ah, oh, shit, I got ketchup on the floor. Mmm, that's so good. Good night. I lied. I just remembered my boyfriend got Girl Scout cookies, so we're gonna have a couple because I haven't had Girl Scout cookies since last Girl Scout cookie season. He bought 10 boxes, because that's the kind of man he is. Um, and two of them are for me. Good morning. For breakfast, I made myself a, oh shit. I made myself a BLT on a burger bun. Um, and I also added cucumbers and gray poupon to the BLT and one of my cucumbers just fell out so I will be retrieving it after this clip. But yeah, we just have some bacon, mayo, gray poupon, lettuce, tomato, and cucumber. And that's my breakfast. Listen, I had the most delicious burger because I'm shooting an ad for a burger company, right? And so for them, I made a breakfast burger. I didn't finish all of it because it's really heavy and I had the BLT earlier, but guys. Okay, so let me go through it. It's cheese, a hash brown, bacon, the burger, um, tomato, lettuce, and this like sriracha, turmeric, mayo. I didn't think it would be so good. Oh, oh, and there's a vegan egg on here too. Um... I got this vegan egg from Maywa in the city. It turned out so good! And as you can tell, I had like a quarter of this burger and then and then probably Roberto's gonna eat the rest because my hairstylist called me and asked if I can come in a little bit early. Um, I said no, because I didn't know how long this shoot was gonna take me, but now that I'm done with the shoot a little earlier than I thought I would, I might just go get my little haircut a little earlier than I thought I would. Is this a weird lunch? Yes. Do I care? No, because it's what I was craving. So this is a ton of dip that I made with Greek yogurt and a bunch of seasonings. This is some baby cucumbers because when I went to the grocery store this morning, they had a box for a dollar and I could never give that up. I love baby cucumbers. And then this is the rest of the tomato that I bought for the video that I shot earlier that I know is gonna go to waste if I don't eat it. So I will be dipping tomato and cucumber into this Greek yogurt, garlicky, oniony, nutritional yeasty dip for dinner, for lunch, the end. Open it, open it. We're doing cupcakes for dessert. I don't know which one I want. Maybe I want strawberry. <laughs> yeah, that strawberry one right there is looking real delectable. Having cupcakes. I'm gonna do one more. I'm gonna do this one. It's like cinnamon maple, I think. It's pretty good. Do you like my haircut? My stylist does such a good job. I love her. Anyway, I'm eating some sausage. No. Salami. Just a hunk. And we also have some cereal. So, that's happening. I just remembered again that we have Girl Scouts cookies. So, I'm having a couple of those before the gym. You know, for carbs. Check this out. I had a fantastic back day. Made myself four tacos. Uh, same stuff I've been eating, except these are whole wheat tacos. They have uh, the Trader Joe's ground and Violife mozzarella cheese, because I ran out of the cheddar. And then we have broccoli and Thousand Island dressing. Also, when I was downstairs cooking, I had a spoonful of marshmallow fluff. Good night. Good morning! I made myself some yogurt for breakfast. So we have Greek yogurt. Um, this Greek yogurt is really, 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 really tart. So I mixed in some maple syrup and then I sliced up a bunch of grapes and I put that there. And then for a little crunchy topping, we have Three Wishes cereal, the honey flavor. And I'm just gonna put this together and have it for breakfast. You have to see the sandwich I just made myself. It looks so freaking good. I took some of the leftovers from that video I had to shoot yesterday and I made myself an egg and bacon mayo sandwich. I'm so pumped. But also I have some more baby cucumbers and the rest of the tomato that I put in here, I just kind of salted it a little bit. And we have a little Waterloo blackberry lemonade flavored sparkling water. I love this flavor and I will be eating all of this. My friend Russell lives in California, but they just landed in New York and I wanna go out to dinner with them. So I'm thinking we go to Rose Diner because they haven't been since it changed from Champs. And I actually think they haven't been since 
champs several years ago. So it's been a long time. And I feel like that'd be great. So um, I am hungry now, and that isn't for another three, four, three hours. It's five o'clock. We're going out to dinner at eight. Kind of late for me. Ah, uh, that's a little late for me. Um, so I'm making some mac and cheese. Actually, I'm not. I'm eating some mac and cheese with like sun-dried tomatoes and stuff in it. Oh, hot. I am craving a soy latte. So I think after I eat this mac and cheese, I will go head out and grab one. Forgive me, but I totally forgot to record my dinner, but I took some video clips on my phone. This is me and Russell. We went to Rose Diner and they made me get the tempeh wings, which I wouldn't get usually, but it was delicious. Then we had a sandwich and some curly fries. It was like a buffalo parm type thing. And we ended the night with my favorite, these cinnamon swirl pancakes. And that's all I have for this week. I hope you enjoyed that video. Like if you like, subscribe if you want to subscribe. If you want to follow me on Instagram or TikTok, I'll have my username right here. I'm super active on TikTok now, at least three posts a day. So if you want to hang out there, come hang out. That's all I have for today. I will talk to you next time. Goodbye! Shout out to all my patrons, but especially my bodega bosses and my OG bodega babes. Jessica, Christina, Lucia, Alex Creates, Laura, Kaylin, Marielle, Alex, Planet Earth, Jenny, Gemini, Janine, Daisy, Michelle, Eduardo, Chloe, Abigail, Dana, Vanessa, Nakia, Matt, Mariana, Andrew, McKenna, Shanta, Adrian, Dawn, Susan, Trudy, Clark, and Sarah. You guys are the absolute best, and these videos are made possible with your support. If you want to support me non-monetarily, then just subscribe and stick around to watch another video. It shows YouTube that you like my content. I also have a TikTok and an Instagram if you want to check me out there and merch. Always down in the description. See ya!